All right, here we are. Another morning uh, down in the brown. Pretty windy Tuesday morning. There's not a lot of boats at the ramp this morning. Throw a rain, so I've left with the mini on in case I need to get some shelter. Uh, I've already put one live mullet out the back. I only got three mullet this morning, but got quite a few prawns actually at that spot near the uh, at the boat passage. So I'm going to put a mullet on that one and on my little my little blue abu. I'm going to uh, just drift the prawn on a lighter sinker a little bit further down towards probably about halfway towards that pylon. I've seen a few archers come through the boat already onto the boat so there seems to be a thready or two cruising around. Side imaging was picking up a few decent bright specks between here and that that marker over there so I might have a flick around with a, a heavier vibe just to punch through this wind a bit and uh, just to kill the time between the baits going off and hopefully I tend to find when I'm fishing with baits and you know using a lure on the side I catch about 50% of my fish with the lure 50% with the bait but it's usually the, the bigger fish that are hitting the uh, it's usually the bigger fish that are hitting the bait um, so my general tactic with the bait is just to have a bit of a sound about. I don't go really looking, chasing specific small schools of fish and trying to sit the lure right in front of their mouth. If there's bait fish activity and a few arches in the general vicinity, you'll generally find, you know, every five or 10 minutes, some arches will move under the boat and hopefully one of them uh, just pick up the baits as they go past. They do, you know, good fish do move they don't always just stay in the one spot and usually when they're on the move they're on the, the prowl for some food so um, that's my my sort of general idea and then also taking into account getting out of the wind on it's coming straight into me this morning but it's not not too strong it's probably uh, feels like about five or six knots Here's a um, very uh, useful little tool I made. It's actually a small leather strop just on a dressed bit of prime. I just super glued some old couch leather down to it. It's a really good hook sharpening tool because it gets a really nice edge on the hook without, um, really nice point without grinding away the tip. Just saw a nice arch come under the boat then. Hopefully something swimming around my baits. Well, if it's swimming up current, it's probably, by the time it gets on the sander, it's probably, probably already past my baits, which is a bit of a shame. But that's what we like to see when bait fishing, the odd arch coming through every now and then, and you know then that you're a good chance of something picking it up on the, the way through. All right, it's the middle of the tide, so, uh, Ramage probably just wasting time. If we have a bit of a sound about maybe and see if we can't find some more productive grounds. Just that there seems to be a lot of bait around. Here's another tip for uh, open boats. Good sunnies for fishing and driving home and whatever and crappy sunnies to help with the spray. All right, so just back uh, over towards the uh, cruise ship terminal now at Luggage Point. Got a live, big live prawn or good sized live prawn on this guy here. And I'm just gonna stick him in this holder for now. That rod holder will sort of move on that down but still hold the reel in place, as long as it doesn't snap. All right, and back to casting the vibe while we wait for these baits to go off. So I've been soaking baits now for two and a half hours and not had a single hit, so it's been, been pretty slim pickings this morning.
couple of trollers doing laps, probably for prawns. It's a big ship coming in over there. I'm wondering if he's coming into that berth or that one over there. Not too sure what kind of ship it is. All right, it's been a pretty so start to the morning. Um, not many bites. Might not even make it as a video the way I'm going at the moment. But I'm um, quite happy to fish through the turn of the tide. The tide slowed right up now. It might have even started turning. I think the wind is just stronger than the tide. It's probably about to turn if it hasn't already. Oh, he's not bad. Look what he is. Taking a bit of drag. Just at the turn of the tide here. Could be a snapper. Come on. Nice one. Listen to him go. Wow. shake. This one was on the live prawn. I'm going to guess snapper. This is uh, the first fish I've caught in four hours if I Still taking line off me. I'll put the ratchet on for dramatic effect. Could be a dewy. Oh, I'd love to know what this is. He's a good fish. Haven't got leader yet. Oh, there we go, leader. So where is he? Oh, thready. We've done it again. This one's a bit smaller than the other night. Nice. Nice, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> wow. Still, a brutish thing nonetheless. Got a bit of damage there. He looks like he might be in the 80s. And all he hit was a, a tiny, tiny, the tiniest of prawns. All right. Get that in. Get the mat out. Give him a quick measure and put him back. Okay, where's my 
Just get a knife. I've got a feeling he's pretty deeply hooked. Yeah, he's just on 90. And that hook is pretty deep, so I'm going to cut it off as close as possible. There we go. Take a really quick snap. Down you go. All right. Might be able to see him in the sounder soon. Did he go down? See if this thing's done its job. All right, all right. That uh, leader, I had a 5.0 circle hook, which he took quite deep, but that leader is pretty, pretty chafed up. If they keep swallowing it like that, it might make the case to go to maybe my 30 pound leaders are a bit, uh, might be a bit on the light side. The rest of the leader's pretty good though, so I'll just, I'll use that bit for the knot and uh, um, just chop the chafed bit off. Trace is still good. So yeah, we'll put another live prawn out. See how we go. On. On. Nice. Oh, come on. This could be another throat. I don't think he's as big as the other, as the throaty I just got. I think it could be a snapper. Don't really want to pull that. Oh, ah, a little school jew. Nice. He's only tiny. He must only be 50. I'll see if I can let him go. Let's take a quick photo of him while he's in the water. Just a little guy. Let's go do, oh, hang on, he's got, might have to help him out here. Take a quick measure. He spat that out, but I thought I saw another hook on him. He might be barely legal. I don't even think he's legal, just over half a metre. I think I saw, if I'm not mistaken. I must be mistaken. I thought I saw another. I think he's pretty lively. I'm going to just send him straight back. There you go. Gee, they release so much better than Jufi, uh, than Threadies. He's just out of here. Oh, my hands. Ah. So that guy was caught on a. Uh, there's my little A uh, clone prawn. Not the biggest clone prawn, the second biggest, the 90 mil. I'm gonna need a new one now, so all good. All right, I'm pretty curious to know now. Know now. I've got ID fish. And let's just see what the almanac says for today.
All right, so yeah, we're coming up to the the bite. The major bite period is just starting. So yeah, I've basically fished <laughs> this whole non-bite period this morning and caught uh, nothing. And now it's rated a fair day. Um, but yeah, we're in the major bite. We're coming. Up, we're in the bite period now, so that's the main thing. So yeah, we'll fish through that and then we'll head home. All right, I put out a video some time ago about rigging soft plastics really, really straight. And this is just how it works in practice, just the double needle technique. And then this is just a, a drawing needle, medical grade. So if you know any, uh, if you've got any friends who are doctors, nurses, they might, might have a few laying around for you. And then with the needle, just stick the hook point, the tip of the hook in there, and then that soft plastic will just slide around nice and straight. So yeah, dead straight-ish. Still prone to use our error, but much easier way. Just putting the sun protection on. Right again. No, oh, come on. Jeez. Huh. On the little prawn. Just gonna have to get him to go under. There we go. Seems to be the prawns doing the damage today. Just as I was putting the sun gear on. Just holding his green, I don't think he's as big as the other one. He's got a bit of weight. Ha. That just took me by surprise. I oh, know these people are gonna see me pull up a fish now. They come and join me. Hey, there he goes. I think it's another 30. Yeah, he's running. This is a really good session. Turning into a good session now. Jeez, he's just holding it. And that's just behind me. Having a bit of a gander, I would too. I'd stop another gander. I'd want to know what the other people are catching, what someone's catching, eh? I must admit, I'm pretty bad. Not too bad. Like I won't park on top of someone, but I'd want to have a, at least have a bit of a gander. Not even seeing Lady yet. Hey, he stopped. Oh, get off, thank you. Now that this current has sped up, it's, it's getting harder to. This is feeling. Very uh, thready-ish. So 
So he's coming up quick now. Yeah, he's looking pretty rayish. <laughs> oh no. Stingray! Oh yes, I saw that on the sounder. Oh, I was watching the sounder. All right. I was just watching him on the sounder. I was thinking something's got to hit that. dramatic effect of the ratchet again. Here we go. Gee, they just love this little... Must be my lucky rod. I think this is a fish. I was watching that on the sounder. I was thinking something's got a... We're gonna see leader soon, surely. I'm gonna be netting off the back of the boat. Still taking line. Damn it. He's got me in a bit of a bind, this guy. I'll be very surprised if this isn't a thready. It's got a lot of head shakes. Ooh. What have we got here? Can't see him. Oh yeah, another thready. He's a bit bigger. He's, he's a bit bigger. Classic. So, these guys are just absolutely inhaling these circle hooks. The small prawns are doing the damage. Okay. Ah, oh, he's just shy of a metre. He is... 
<laughs> 98. That's the tip of the tail, 98. All right. So, because I took the camera off, I didn't really have time to stuff around putting it back on for the release, but this is my release aid now. I've remade it after, so it's just something I can keep in the boat and not worry about getting too rusty. That's just a stainless steel pin from a corn cob fork. And I've cut this out of the handle of a chopping board using a jigsaw and just tied it around the edges with a Dremel. And there's a snapper lead there and just a chain, uh, just a whole heap of ball sinkers there. So once the fish gets plummeting, you've kind of got to let it go. And the moment you start winding up, it just releases the, that just pulls straight up. So you can see it just pulls straight in line with the, the string there. So hopefully he releases okay because I sure as hell don't want to eat fish from around luggage point if you... All right. I'm in the Litton Rock section now. I've had some pretty good success here over the years, drifting for broom and snapper. Caught a cod, not much else, but it's always good fun just to see what's around here. But yeah. All right. Last cast for the day. Oh man, just got to talk about how uh, stupid I feel about espousing the uh, virtues of my new release aid only for my Freddy that I just released to float and then have old mate tell me, hey, is this your Freddy? To which I have to sheepishly reply, yes. But uh, he was kind enough to take it for me. I would have happily taken it if he didn't though. It's a bit of a shame. I think I have to work on uh, doing something to relieve the air from the bladder in these things. Some little cast along this ledge near the ampole thing. I've never caught, I've never fished it before, but it's popped up on the side image. Oh, might have to have another cast off. There we go. There's fish down there. On. Oh. Is that a broom? Hey, that was going to be my last cast. I think it's a a broom or a snapper. Might have to have another cast, eh? Hey, yeah, we'll have another cast here, eh? No need for that one to be the last cast. If uh, if these guys are around, let's have let's have three more, eh? Three more casts. Catching a couple of these guys always good fun all right and lucky last cast and I think we can call it a day so very slow start to the day um, took me a while to get bait I didn't bother filming getting bait because I filmed myself done plenty of footage getting bait where I usually do around near the boat passage but uh, I think it was about three and a half hours, nearly four hours, until I got my first fish, and then a, that bite period sort of, you know, brought on another thready and a and a, and a baby Jew. So, uh, and a filthy big stingray. So yeah, all in all, a good day, but just a long one, a bit longer than I'd hope to start catching fish. But that's the Brizzy River for you. Can be a bit, the Brizzy River can be a bit harsh at times. Can always present it can always present like a donut day so any day where you get three fish on lures is a pass mark in my opinion see they're down there oh one more cast one more cast all right i'll make this definitely the last cast because i can feel them down there Oh, there we go. Wake her up. Just always with the uh, with the soft plastics. Always just keep in close contact. Doesn't have to be tight, tight line. You want it to sink naturally, but at the same time. 
if something picks it up, you want to be able to pounce on it. Time to pack it up, I think. Oi! Where is it? I can't make up my stupid mind because every time I do, a fish comes and bites my line. That's it, I'm packing up. They're not big. Alright, cheers for watching, guys.